if you put a finger on my sister, I guarantee your head pop, pop, pop just like blister. I might smile and grin, but trust me, darling, when it comes what's good to my beautiful people welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new it's the girl miss sits and i'm back with another video so in today's video i'm actually really excited because even though i always say in these type of videos that i don't like doing lipstick swatch videos on me i still kind of like doing them so I'm just weird like that but if you are new to the channel and you love this type of content make sure you do subscribe I would really appreciate it and also put your post notifications on to all so you never miss any uploads and without further ado let's get right into the video so I feel like I haven't done a revolution video for quite some time now and revolution has come out with their recent lip creams part of the IRL line they did come up with six shades and I believe with seven pencils to match each shade but the seventh one is like a white universal pencil which is not meant to really give you color but it's meant to pretty much stop your lips or lip products from bleeding now i'm not gonna lie to you i didn't pick up the pencils because i'm very boring with my pencils i stick with my morphe pencils or my mac ones and i use the same damn shade okay brown lip liner no matter if it's red purple pink nude yellow orange i always use brown so it wouldn't make any sense for me to pick up those pencils and then also when I checked one of my girls on YouTube, her name is Lizzie, and she's more of a lighter complexion, like olive tone, you know, tan, she's not pale, she's got a little something, something. She was swatching the pencils and the pencils were lighter than the lip creams. And for me, I feel like pencils should be darker to define your lips and then, you know, apply the lip creams, lipsticks, lip gloss, whatever the weather. So yeah, mm -mm, it was just not my cup of tea. So we are just going to focus on the lip products. Revolution IRL Whipped Lip Creams. And they retail for £4.99. Vegan and cruelty free. Comes in six shades. Now usually Revolution is quite good of specifying these shades or undertones of their lip products. But for some reason on their original website, they haven't done that this time around. Which is sad because I am so whack. Of describing lip shades so lord give me the strength it's our full coverage color non-drying velvet mousse formula blowing it soft matte lip effect once again vegan and cruelty free so I'm just gonna wrap off my lip product that I've got on now cuz I was filming obviously prior and um, also FYI I do have two different shades of blush one side is pink and one side is orange you're not going crazy um, I was filming TikTok, so if you don't follow me on TikTok and Instagram, make sure you do, boo. So we're going to start with this first shade, and this shade is called Chai Nude. So this is the shade Chai Nude, so you could probably see it there on my hand, and you can also see it there on my skin. So that is the shade Chai Nude, and child, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to try my best to describe these kind of shades, but so far, this is just looking like a dusty pinky nude watch me in my bad self but anyway oh they actually got a scent to them okay <laughs> no i look <laughs> okay can we well hold on let me be <laughs> okay so um... <laughs> okay so this is a shade chai nude i'm trying to take my can you not take me serious please like definitely look stupid like I look mad now because of the shade where I apply it on my bottom lip you can see more of the natural color but where it goes to like my lip line and I'm obviously my top lip where it's quite brown you can see like a gray undertone to it like a gray hue which is kind of expected with this kind of shade but you know what even though I look like a mad head yeah I can see potential I can see potential in this lipstick. I can see it. Okay, so I applied some brown lip liner. Also for reference, I'm just gonna be using my Morphe lip liner in the shade um, Trendsetter. So now I'm just gonna apply the lip product. Okay, so the application is not gonna be 1010 because I really don't have the patience right now. Now I'm definitely saying with the lip liner, it looks much better. It's quite like, 
obviously it's probably with the choice of the lip liner that I'm using as in the shade but it's giving me quite like a 90s cool tone neutral vibe so this would probably go with a nice like neutral smoky look personally this is not a shade that I like even with the lip liner so I will probably personally would use that shade to apply it in the center just to give it a little bit of a pop and I think it would definitely look better with lip gloss personally for me so the next one I'm going to try out is Frappuccino Nude chai nude this is frappuccino nude and then you can also see it on my skin here as well oh yeah mm-hmm mm-hmm yeah this yeah this is a bit of me so once again this is frappuccino nude so this is definitely a shade that I would rock fresh look with the pink doesn't look good with our lip liner absolutely not but it's a cute shade okay so this is frappuccino nude with the lip liner Um, definitely could have done better I prefer to actually apply my lip liner first then the lip product but I didn't do it this time around it's definitely more of a flattering shade springtime fresh summertime type of vibe very cute uh, it's not like a go-to everyday nude for me um so it would depend what kind of makeup look I'm going for but yeah with a lip liner mm -hmm, she could be saved so the next one is a burnt cinnamon so once again chai nude frappuccino nude and burnt cinnamon and then you can also see it along here as well okay yeah this is a shade burnt cinnamon it is giving me more of like a terracotta shade for me anyway on my skin tone um and it's actually cute but it's not a shade once again that i usually go for so this is burnt cinnamon with the lip liner very badly done once again please this don't even come from application yeah but yeah this is definitely much better mm-hmm actually yeah you know what yeah yeah with the lip liner now and then with a gloss on top <laughs> listen nobody can have chat with me <sighs> giving me nice sort of summery vibes but i was still wear it in the autumn or whatever okay so the next one i'm gonna try is caramel syrup and oh yeah you know what caramel syrup might be doing it for me you know sorry this is getting a little bit awkward now so down here is caramel syrup so hopefully you can see it on my skin there as well so yeah so this one is caramel syrup definitely not as daunting as the first shade of chai nude the very first one and um, it's just got more of like a warmish undertone to it but it's still giving me that dusty pink vibe but it's just a little bit more warmer so this is caramel syrup so yeah definitely much cuter um so it's not giving me a neutral cool tone vibe like chai nude the very first one I like it she's nice mm-hmm this is actually really nice with a little bit of a gloss mm-hmm this is a cute combo especially with like this side of my makeup with the pink blush it's a cute combo so I think we're definitely going on to the shade that I'm gonna like the most and um, which is called espresso nude because of all the other shades like looking at the components most of them are quite pinky where the espresso nude it's actually giving me nude vibes so i'm just praying oh yeah she kind of looks like she's giving me new vibes you know <gasps> i don't know where i'm gonna put it though god damn it you see maybe the light is better that way so that's espresso nude that's all the other shades and espresso nude is also down here as well it's giving me nudie vibes for real for real oh uh, yes yes it is mm -hmm. so this is espresso nude it's definitely lighter than the packaging so i would probably say this is the most comfortable go-to nude when it comes to like medium to dark skin spectrum but it still carries a bit of the pink vibe if that makes sense i was more going for i was more hoping it was giving me more of a brownie nude not a pinky nude so um, it still looked cute but i was just hoping that it was going to be a little bit more brown okay so this is espresso nude with the lip liner definitely the favorite nude out of the bunch 110 percent i was still hoping i was going to get a little bit chocolate in this though like a little a little bit of like brown in there you know but it's cute though and it's definitely more of my type of nude that i wear like with a gloss i'm oh, sorry i know i probably said that but could you imagine using the hot chocolate gloss from Fenty Beauty on top of this girl listen yeah 
that will be a vibe now we're down to the last one americano is it americano brown which is basically the dark one yeah so brown dark brown the shade there the last one there and that's what it looks like there as well mm. okay call me biased yeah but i feel like this actually applies the best out of the others <laughs> am i being biased because she's brown but honestly i feel like it literally applied the best out of the other shades that i've tried on it's pretty much like a neutral brown it gives me um it really reminds me of that liquid lipstick from milani in the shade Corvette which used to be like my go-to so it's giving me that sort of neutral brown there's no red there's no pink there's nothing it's just a neutral brown shade if you're deep 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 dark this is going to be like a nice nude if you're like more from a light pale you know upwards this is going to be a really nice sexy dark brown shade on you guys um but for people like us in this sort of skin spectrum it's giving me my skin on my lips my skin tone on my lips basically so like personally for me yeah i could rock it like this but i feel like i look weird so i will have to go in with more of like a blackish liner just to emphasize the shades and obviously not having my lips to disappear in my skin <laughs> literally but it's beautiful though it's a nice shade she's cute so i'm gonna end it off with Espresso nude no was it espresso nude yeah i'm just gonna do a lip combo and wrap it up this is a lip combo I've got going on so like i said brown lip liner espresso nude and i went in with my fenty beauty heat hot chocolate which is literally almost done guys like you could probably see it like i am hurt <laughs> to the fullest because i use that on a regular basis and yeah i'm sorry but it's the gloss for me the gloss always says my lip combo now i love that shade even more so so those are all six of the shades swatched and definitely would say my favorite shades is the darkest one and espresso nude my least favorite is nude chai which is the first one that i swatched um and the other three i can definitely manipulate and twist and turn and tweak here and there the formulas are really really nice very unique very comfortable on the lips and even wiping them off um there was not like tugging and scraping and an, uh, uh, it was none of that the only thing i would probably would say though that i noticed when i spreaded my lips like do this type of thing i could see sometimes the formula was setting it into my lines of my lips because i've got loads of lines on my lips and also like bubbling like build up if that makes sense so i don't know if my lips were just that crusty <laughs> I don't know make sure you exfoliate and obviously your lips are moisturized to the t i noticed that with more of the lightest shades like the first two light shades but as i got darker i didn't really experience that too much but they're really comfortable though lovely texture like those are the type of textured lipsticks that i personally like liquid matte lipsticks oh i've got a really be in a mood which is really but those formulas are really nice and they're affordable they're cute but then also another side note because of the dofit um i feel like you have to keep putting it into the container or component and applying it on your lips just to build up the pigment um especially on the sides of your lips if you've got any pigment in your lips discoloration etc etc um, but i think it's because of the size of it just doesn't really distribute a lot of product at a time but apart from that they're cute they are cute and they smell nice as well <laughs> that actually smell nice as well and this combination yeah she bangs she bangs but yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up that really helps me out a lot and i really appreciate it you guys let me know what type of shades that you like out of the swatches sorry my swatches were quite terrible today but you know there you go um i will leave all the details in the description box below and i would love to see you guys in my next one bye and boom, step on the tune like, big up my sisters.